The suit by the Ekiti State Attorney General against the Inspector General of Police seeking an order of court declaring Section 1 to 7 of the Police Art and Regulations Unconstitutional resumed at the Federal High Court at Duikiti. The Commissioner for Justice is seeking redress for the pregnant police officer who was dismissed. The case was first out on the 25th of March, where preliminary objection for an extension of time was entertained and adjourned till 11th of April, but was stalled because of the Justin strike. At the resumed hearing, the plaintiff sought an extension of time to react to an application of separate appeal at the industrial court, to which the defense counsel agreed. Um, a related suit has been filed um, in the industrial court um, on behalf of the female uh, police officer and um, the court is now called upon to examine whether uh, this is not an abuse of the court process. The judge, Justice Bab Square Wumi, granted the application at John sitting till 22nd of July 2012. In another development, two presidential nominees for National Commissioner of the Independent National Electoral Commission did not meet the Senate's requirement for confirmation. Loretta Onoche's nomination was unanimously rejected by the Senate. Will the Senate approve the nomination of Loretta Oneche as a commissioner representing Delta State in the Independent National Electoral Commission? Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The nays have it. Her nomination has generated a lot of public outcry from Nigerians who question her political affiliation with the APC and her perceived loyalty to President Muhammadu Buhari. But the Senate's INA committee recommended her rejection on grounds of going against the country's federal character principles. Based on the provision of Section 1413 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended, on federal character principles as I last stated in order, for the committee and the Senate to achieve fairness on other states and political zones in the country, the committee is unable to recommend Ms. Loretta Onechi for confirmation as National Electoral Commissioner for the Indian National Electoral Commission. Another nominee, Sani Muhammad Musa, was stepped down until further legislative action is taken by the committee within two weeks. The Senate approves the nomination of five other candidates who met all requirements for their confirmation by the Senate. In the Independent National Electoral Commission, those in favor say aye, those against say nay, the ayes. Nigeria is one of the leading countries in human trafficking in Africa. Despite efforts by government, non-governmental organizations towards combating the illegal trade. In 2016, part of the 181,000 migrants who arrived Italy through the Mediterranean. Nigerians accounted for 21%. Symbol of Hope Nigeria is an agency. They take their campaign to these women and teenagers over 600 in number who are members of the Northern Girls Brigade. They just for the 2021 annual camp exercise. Several messages of hope and how to stay away from falling victim of human traffickers are part of the new knowledge impacted to participants. Yetunde Abraham was once a victim of human trafficking. She narrated her touching ordeal in the hands of the traffickers and how she was rescued. See, most of my loved ones dying. See, my friends dying. I cannot help them. Participants see the campaign as timely. We feel it is very, very necessary to come to a gathering of this nature because girls are most vulnerable. So as a body, as an organization, the Symbols of Hope is saying girls are most vulnerable. The attention of the world should be turned towards bringing up girls in the right way. And on my own side, it will help me too to create more awareness to other parents too, wherever I find myself. And I am calling on the government, all governments of the Federation, to make sure that they give a listening ear to such victims. Parents are advised to be watchful, not to fall victims of human traffickers.